Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things in this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they got to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, though, uses motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. On first down, right back to Gibson. Yeah, he stopped immediately there. Miles Jack there to make the tackle. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try to fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And they'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. John Bates, his first touchdown on the year. And the Commanders have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Patterson now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 15. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. So a turnover there on the kickoff, and don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting, because when you're trailing in a game, these are the mistakes that you pray for. You just went down and scored, now you get the football right back with another great opportunity. They go play action here on first down. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. for the goal line. He loses the football. And the offense is able to pounce on it inside the five-yard line. 
fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Gibson will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the run. This time able to hold on to the football, but not much room to run. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two score games, second half, you're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. Gibson again, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Commanders get a bit closer. So this now a nine-point difference. You figure the book here says kick the extra point, make it a one-score game. Now, you and I have seen coaches get overly aggressive in this spot, but I agree with you. Kick it here and get back within a score. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good, so that will get them back within one score. the kickoff and it's away and not willing to risk another fumble he'll sit on this one it's a touchback The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in place, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Now on second and 13, Lawrence. And look at this. They get the tunnel they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl, and the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. So my goodness, I wouldn't have thought this possible not too long ago, but that turnover there means we have a game again. Yeah, it's been a completely different team here in the second half. I just wonder on the other side of the field, where the starters telling the backups, get ready, you're going to get some playing time. And now guess what? Hope they didn't cut the tape off of their wrists and ankles. They've got to go back out there and play. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the pass. They'll run with Gibson. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 82 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. 
fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Commanders football as we get back to it. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. They'll run with Gibson. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there. Looking him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. They'll try to run with Edmonds. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Commanders have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. The touchdown is huge, but the focus now is on the two-point play. I don't want to say they have a cushion here, but if they don't get it, they still have a chance for onside kick. Yeah, they would need some big-time help, but you're right. There would be a shot, but the focus right now on that two-point conversion. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. It really hurts the team on defense. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. running straight ahead and he'll power ahead but only for about three yards second down coming up and Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven Lawrence. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Throwing now, Lawrence. And that will 
will be incomplete. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. So here we go. On now is the kicker, Chris Boswell. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a two-point game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Out there, set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. this way it may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great but they get a few more quality ones like that that could finish things off for them let's go now after the incomplete pass here now let's is second let's and let's ten back he's back to throw Gets this to Gibson, and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. It's his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. He'll look to throw. Slings this deep from McClellan. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25.
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Back to throw. Lawrence. Connecting with Johnson. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. A final shot now for Lawrence. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a thrilling fourth quarter this one was. Well, at least, I guess, if you're cheering for the winning side. An, outsta an outstanding comeback, though, that saw them completely take control and change the outcome of this game. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of us saw that coming, the way that they were playing and having the lead after three quarters.